this is Jimmy with the Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to export your workspace out of Notion. So stay tuned. Before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps me out. If you want to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. So the thing you're going to want to do is open up Notion, as I've done here. You're going to come over here in the left panel in the top to where it says settings and members and click that. You're going to navigate down to settings. And you should now see about halfway down the page an export content section. And here you have sort of two entries here. One is sort of a help link that'll take you to the Notion page that explains how to export your workspace. And then here is export all workspace content. So if you click this, it'll export, give you export options for the workspace you're currently in. So if you have multiple workspaces, you will have to do this exercise for each of those workspaces if you want to back all of them up. So I'm going to hit export all workspace content and I get the export format and I get three options. The default is Markdown and CSV. You also have PDF if you're on the enterprise plan, which I'm not, so it's not really an option. HTML, which will export all your pages as HTML files or Markdown and CSV. Let's choose the default. We're going to hit export and it's going to start going and compiling all the pages to get them ready for export. I'm going to pause it here and come back when we are um, ready for the next step. Okay, so it finished um, compiling and now it's giving me a save dialog. So, and actually it will send you an email notification as well to your email address um, to let you know that the export is done. So here what it is, is it's a zip file. So I'm actually just going to take this long, crazy name out and change it to export underscore markdown underscore CSV to let myself know that this is an export file markdown CSV. And if this is, um, you know, I'll put the date in, which is what? 04, 03, 20. Um, because if you were doing multiple backups that you were archiving, then you know, you'd know you want to have the date so you know which one's most recent. I'm going to hit save. It's going to dump a zip file onto my desktop, as you can see here. I'm going to double click that to open it, which should create a folder on my desktop, which it does right here. And I'm going to double click that to open up to see what we got. Give this a little space. So as you can see, I have um, basically a directory full of all my pages and then folders for sub pages. Okay. So here I, I'm going to open up this markdown file. I'm going to right click on it cause I don't want Xcode to open it. <laughs> I'm going to open it in Atom, which is a text editor. And there it is. Okay. So here you can see it actually gives me a markdown representation of my personal projects page. I'm actually going to show you what those look like here. If you look at this page and you compare it to my main personal projects page, this is what it looks like in Notion. And this is what the same thing looks like in Markdown. As you can see, you have the text of the title of the page. Get rid of that. Text of the title of the page, and then you have the actual link. Uh, the links in this case are internal links. So I'm going to close this. Actually, I'll just close that real quick and minimize that. And then if I go into the personal projects folder, which was just referenced in that Markdown document, you'll see I have a bunch of other folders here. Uh, let's open up the links again using Atom. And as you can see, the, it, the links page actually, if I come in here, it references a table, which as you remember, we said it was, it was going to export both Markdown and CSV files. Whenever it's a table, they export that as a CSV. So this table here um, is actually a CSV file, and I'll show you where that is in a minute. And then there's also an article that I want to read here, um, which is a great article. It has one article here uh, by Cal Newport on the benefits of learning hard stuff. 
um, which I haven't gotten around to reading yet. Um, but um, that's also as a table here. So what I can actually do is go here to that links folder, double click, and you'll see my two CSV files that are referenced here. So I'm actually going to open one of these in Excel. And as you can see that, if I just blow this up a little bit so you can see, you can see that this, this is the exact same thing. If I can get around to sizing things properly as this. So you have basically a CSV uh, file that's representative of this database. If I were to open the other database in Excel, you'll see that I'm going to just do this like this. You can see here that if I just clean this up so you can read it, it's basically the same thing. I have my my pages are represented as text entries in the, in this column, in the name column, and then my URL column has the links in it. So, of course, they're text only because um, CSV files don't really recognize URLs, but you get the idea. So this is a great way to export your data. I'm going to just minimize those for now. So I hope this was helpful for Markdown. Now let's do a HTML export to see what that looks like. Okay, so now let's do a export to HTML. So many of the steps are going to be exactly the same except for one step where we choose the export option. So we're going to choose file, oh, excuse me, settings and members, settings. We're going to come down to export all workspace content and click that. We're going to choose HTML out of the, the menu, hit export. That's going to start the export process. Now it's done. So we will give it a name. Remember to preserve the .zip extension. And we'll call this export HTML. We will hit save. And it will create a zip file here on my desktop. I'm going to double click that, which will extract that onto my desktop in a folder. Open that folder, and here we go. So um, I have to cancel that real quick and come up to the top here. We have our, you know, basically our structure, much very similar to what we had with the markdown and CSV files. So you can drill down into like personal projects, uh, links. The difference being that. All your databases and everything are still just HTML files. Uh, everything is an HTML file. Um, and then within, um, if you have an HTML file, like for this link, for the life hacker link, as an example, it will also keep a image of that. So if I double click it, it has the main image of that web page as an example. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release videos, please click that bell. Thanks.